Good evening, everybody. This is Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. Uh, we're a startup company based in Austin, Texas. We're focused on bringing technology to help student athletes successfully transition from high school to college and then into a career based on their major once their football eligibility is over. Um, we're doing this now through our uh, Spotlight podcast where we're using this to have athletes connect with other athletes during the recruiting process and more importantly, allowing student athletes to connect with college coaches as we're in this very different pandemic recruiting cycle uh, with the NCAA extending the dead period and nobody being on campus anytime soon. Uh, we're using this to have them get their voice and have them advocate for themselves about who they are on the field, off the field, about their academics and what they're gonna bring to the college level once they get there. Uh, we are sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, they are a new sponsor. They are focused in partnering with uh, Connect Athletics to support high school athletes and high school sports programs here in the state of Texas. Uh, the James E. Taylor High School from Katy is one of the schools that they are sponsoring. So as you watch this video on Cecil here coming up, uh, throughout the season, before or after the game, swing by the Buffalo Wild Wings Sports Bar in Katy. And 10% of your bill, if you mentioned that you're part of Taylor High School, 10% of your bill will go back towards the athletic program, the football program at Taylor. So make sure you mention that when you go into the restaurant. We have got a very exciting prospect on the phone with us today. Uh, Cecil Ivy the second is a class of 21 DB from James E. Taylor High School, as I mentioned in Katy. He's 5'8", 170 pounds, GPA at 2.5. He was honorable mention all year, uh, last year, and had a great first game for them to get their first win last Thursday. Cecil, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. Good. Hey, thanks for joining us. Looking forward to hearing you tell your story uh, as you go through uh, your football journey here. Let's jump right in. Uh, coaches want to know about first thing is academics. Uh, tell us about, you know, we, we talk a lot about football players and their work ethic when it comes to football, grinding in the weight room, working out with their trainers. But tell us about your academic work ethic. To me, my academic work ethic, ethic is hard right now. Like, I'm trying really hard to get my grades up. I've been trying since sophomore year, freshman year, I really was slacking off a little bit, just wanted to play football. And then I figured out that I have to get my grades up to be able to keep playing. So I work hard right now. See, so I appreciate your honesty. Uh, you're, you know, you, you've made the same mistake that a lot of student athletes have made. They don't think about recruiting their freshman year and they kind of cruise that freshman year. And then all of a sudden through your hard work, you become a, a recruitable prospect. You're like, oh, I got to make up for those C's and D's. So I appreciate your honesty. I know you'll get to where you want to, uh, to get that GPA raised to where you want. Uh, tell us about uh, what are some of your favorite classes uh, in school? Uh, we have this class called Forensics. That's one of my top classes because that's really what I want to major in when I get to college. So that's one of my favorites. Okay. Uh, for those that I know with forensics, I watch a lot of TV, law shows and stuff. For those that may not know, tell us a little bit about uh, what forensics is and what you want to do in it. Well, with me, I want to be a forensic anthropologist, and it has to do a lot with the study of bones. So I want to pursue that career. Um, my mom introduced it to me when I was younger, when I was like at least 10. And ever since then, I've been wanting to do that. Oh, that's outstanding. I love hearing that. Uh, tell us, are there any uh, teachers or tutors or coaches or APs at Taylor High School that you want to shout out that are, that are helping you get your, your GPA where you want it to be? Who do you want to shout out about that? Cece, so you still with us? Fine. See, so are there any teachers or tutors or coaches or APs that you want to shout out that's helping you get your GPA to where you want it to be? Uh, yeah, one of my coaches, Coach Jensen, he's always been there to help me since I was a freshman, since I moved here. Because I moved here from Kansas City recently, like only three years ago. So he's always been there to help me get my grades up, get everything I need, and to help me out my, and, and me and my family. Okay. Hey, have you done some research on what schools have a strong forensics program? Are all some of those schools that are on your recruiting list? Uh, yeah, Sam Houston. So Sam, what I'm um, thinking about doing is going to Sam Houston to play football and then also um, go in there and get my degree in criminal justice. And then after that, pursue the forensic part of the uh, part of that. Okay. Do you want to get into law enforcement or you want to work at the federal level, the FBI? What are you, what are you thinking down the road? 
Yeah, I have to work uh, through law enforcement first to be able to become the forensic anthropologist because I also want to become a coroner for okay. the area or any area. But I you are the work. first. You're the first dude that I've heard talk about forensics, man. I love that. That I love that you're mm-hmm. original like that. Hey, uh, coaches also want, want to know about your learning style, uh, both in the classroom and on the field. Tell these coaches, are you more of a visual, verbal, or hands-on learning style? I'm more of a visual guy and a hands-on learner at the same time. Because I have to see what's going on and I have to like see how to do it to be able to learn how to uh, do it and then physically be able to do it myself. So I think that's what I am. I'm more of a hands-on and uh, visual. Okay. Uh, I know you're uh, you're a senior now. I know the pandemic has washed out a lot of test scores, but tell these coaches uh, when do you plan on taking the SAT and the ACT? Um, I'm actually doing that this month or the next month coming because I recently just missed out on the uh, SAT like last week, so I have to go again and do it in November, I think. Okay, good to hear. Um, tell us, you know, body language is important in life, in football, and especially in the classroom. Tell these coaches what kind of body language do you have when you're in class? When I'm in class, I, I try not to <laughs> never give up on any work I'm doing. Like if something is stressing me out, I always ask a teacher or ask somebody just to help me out because I never want to give up on any work. Because if I give up on work, then I just start lazy habits and I don't want to start that. Great response. I like that. Hey, let's switch over and talk about your, your family a little bit. You, know, you personally, uh, tell us about your family. What do your mom and dad do? Uh, are you an only child? Are you the youngest? Are you the oldest? Tell us a little bit about your family background. Actually, I am the oldest child. There's two other younger ones. Uh, I have a baby sister who was born in April, and then I have a baby brother uh, who was born on the same day as my birthday. So that's something special. And then my dad currently owns his own business called Cindy List. He's a, uh, he helps to make families funeral call lower because we've been in a situation where a funeral home tried to like charge extra expenses or something like that's not really required. So he tries to help other families out by lowering funeral expenses. And then my mom works in uh, organ donation area. She works with Mellow's Transplant Network. So she does that and um, helps out other families who donating organs and other things. That's awesome. That's awesome here. Tell us, uh, you know, you're the, you're the oldest. Tell us about the importance you put on being the best big brother you can be. Yeah. When my brother gets to school, I'm, first thing I'm doing is tell him to get on his grades because I'm trying not to have him make the same mistake as I did. And then I'm trying to be a um, bigger brother to my uh, little sister too. Just trying to always be there for him and all that. Okay. You know, you, you, you've got your size listed right now at 5'8", 170. One thing college coaches always want to see in the parents is height. Do you have another growth spurt? How tall is your mom and dad? My dad is like 5'11", and my mom is 5'2". Okay. All right, give us a little bit of insight there. Uh, okay. Tell us about your hobbies. When you're not working out and you're not playing football, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, what I like, I'm actually a producer, too. I like to make music. So that's also something I uh, do on my spare time. I like to make beats or just make some music. Okay, I like it. Uh, do you all? Are you just a producer? You like you like being on both sides of the mic? You got you got you got rap skills or no? Uh, yeah, nah. Yeah, I just have yeah, producer side. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you from uh, coming from a music family, uh, most of the big money is made on the other side of the glass. The yeah, producers yeah. and the copyright stuff, which you probably already know that, so that's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, what, what else? Are you, are you a video game guy? Do you like to hang out? Do you like to hang out with your friends? Get out in the water? Do you yeah. like to hunt fish? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Madden guy, so I stay on Madden a lot whenever I can. And then, okay. yeah, I stay yeah. on the game a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I got to tell you, I interviewed one of your teammates not, uh, a little while earlier today, uh, Nick uh, uh, Getty. And he says he's the man when it comes to uh, to Madden. I said, well, I'm going to be talking to one of your teammates here coming up. We're, 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 who's, who's giving L's and who's taking L's between you two? Bro, Getty. Getty, definitely. <laughs> Getty will not beat me in Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for him to see this portion of the interview. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he's he going to pass up the sticks. He's not beating me. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, T, so you know that recruiting is taking place a lot more on social media now. Uh, tell these coaches, when they look at your timeline, what do you hope your timeline says about you? Wait, can you uh, repeat that question? 
we, a lot of recruiting is taking place on social media now. Uh, as coaches start to look at your social media, what does your social media, how does your social media presence describe you? Most of my social media is just football because I'm trying to get as much attention recruiting as I can. So anything you see, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all of that is just football. Like, I don't even have a personal account. I just try to get as many looks as I can. Smart. Like, uh, that's a big part. You, you probably heard stories about players' social media actually causing them to get uh, offers uh, stripped from them because of what they posted. So I love that you have a business-like mentality about your social media presence because it is your brand and it is important. Uh, good to know there. Uh, let me hit you with some of these uh, favorite questions. What is your favorite all-time football movie? Ooh, The Waterboy with Adam Sandler in it. That okay. movie is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I'm with you on that one. Every time it comes on, I got to watch it. What is your uh, favorite food? Um, I like to eat anything, but I'm from Kansas City, so my favorite food is barbecue. Barbecue, okay. Kansas City, Texas, you're in two of the best states for barbecue, so I'm sure you're pretty, uh, pretty expert on, th on that. Uh, and yeah. then lastly, uh, favorite music artist since you're a producer, uh, who's somebody you respect and what genre of music do you like? Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle and Daphne is someone okay. that I look up to. All right. But yeah, that's on the top. Okay. Uh, I call this my dream scenario question. Let's say you have four great years in college and you find yourself in New York City at the NFL draft. Who do you want sitting at your table waiting for the commissioner to call your name? My mom, my dad, and then my coach, Coach Jensen. The coach that's always been there for me. I got to have him there. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, I like that. That's a great response. Um, you know, as football players, we, you know, coaches care about you giving back to your community. Uh, tell these coaches, are you involved in your church? Are you involved in nonprofits or uh, high school clubs? What are you doing to give back? Well, um, actually, uh, this past summer, me and my dad went to an abandoned funeral home, an uh, old slave, uh, uh, old slave um, like gravesite, and it was abandoned. So me and my dad went out, uh, got a few people, just cleaned it up, fixed it, fixed all the uh, headstones and everything. So, That's awesome. Was, was that here in Texas or back in Kansas City? That was here in Texas. It was in okay. Prince Ward. Yeah, it was in okay. Fifth Ward area. It was an abandoned slave um, grave area, and we just went over and fixed it up. That is awesome. That's a, that's, I love that. That's great stuff. Uh, tell us, what do you want your life to look like? You know, I always tell student athletes at my camps and stuff, football will come to an end one day. What do you want your life to look like when football's over, whenever that is? Hopefully, hopefully I'm pursuing my forensics, uh, forensics area I'm trying to be in. So hopefully I'm pursuing that dream I'm trying to achieve. So hopefully I'm in forensics or some type of law enforcement. Okay. Law enforcement, forensics by day and big time producer at night. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like it. Okay. Uh, another important thing, see, so, uh, you know, how your teammates see you is important to coaches. How do you think your teammates would describe you as a teammate? As a teammate, they, some of them see me as a leader. Some of them see me as, like, the entertainer on the team because, to me, I'm a funny guy, so I like to have fun. And I also like to get the serious side of me when it's time to be serious so I can balance both sides. So I think they'll see me as a leader. So I had some teammates who come up telling me they look up to me because I'm an undersized DB, and I don't let side determine what my scalability is. So... Well, I, I can tell you in watching uh, your huddle video from last year and just from the game on Thursday, uh, you don't play small. You are not fair to contact. You came down here last Thursday and you were knocking people out. I saw a couple of plays. You knocked out your own teammate because he was in the way and getting your way to yeah. the tackle. I love that. <laughs> so yeah. so let, let's jump over to, uh, to recruiting here as we finish up. Um, what do you consider your strengths and what are some of the things you're working on as a DB going into your senior year? Some of my strengths is my speed. I run a 4440, so that's top up there. My agility, I'm shifty for my, I'm shifty. And then also my jumping ability, because I have a 32 inch vertical, so I can get up there and get the ball with a six four receiver. So I can, I can go up and get it. And then what are some of the things you're working on? Some of the things I'm working on is trying to get my vertical even more higher. I'm trying to get to at least 35 or 36. I'm trying to get up there. Because I know. Are you, are you doing that because uh, you're a little undersized as a corner? Yeah. 
because I know some coaches won't care about a hype, but if you can jump up there with a six four receiver, they they going to look at you. It's it's a great strategy. You're the first kid that's ever said that. I, I like that a lot. Well, uh, tell me how are your ball skills though? They good. They good. Right now I can't catch, but my ball skills are good. I can. I'm like a little ball out there. All right. Do you play a role? Coaches love players that love special teams. Do you play a role in any of the special teams at uh, Taylor? I'm in all of them. <laughs> I'm in every single special team except for field goal. I'm in field goal block, punt return, punt, kick return, kick off. I'm in all of them. Great. And do you enjoy it? Do you like being part of the special forces? Yeah, because I get to get more tackles on my uh, stat sheet. Yeah. And then I get returns on that also. <laughs> okay. Hey, Cecil, so tell these coaches, are you a weight room guy? Do you like to, to lift weights and, and, and get bigger and stronger? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Literally, every time I post something, it's me in the weight room. That's all I do. I, I'm a, I'm a strong little dude. <laughs> give these coaches an idea. Uh, I know we had the pandemic and you're out of the weight room and stuff from school, but uh, give us that. What, what's your bench? What's your squat? What's your clean right now? How strong are you? Uh, since after the um, – since we've been in quarantine – my stuff went down, so my bench is 265 from when I last bench, and then my squat is 275 from when I last squatted, and then my hand clean is 255. Okay, definitely strong pound for pound for somebody your size. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Tell us, you know, there's two types of players most coaches look at. I look at there are players that wait to, to show in the games, and then there are players who love the practice and preparation and then play in the games. Which one are you? I'm a I'm gonna be honest. I'm more of a show you in game type of player. Like some some days I'd be going really hard in practice. Some days I'd just be not feeling it. So yeah. I mean, I, I, once again, I love your honesty. Most most players wouldn't say that, but it is what it is. And so uh, I will tell you going forward as you go to the next level, uh, your practice time will dictate your playing time. So make sure you uh, yeah. try and balance it out a little bit more as you go through this 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 process. Uh, yeah. Tell me, are you a film study guy? Do you like to study a lot of film of receivers and, and get to know their routes? Yes, literally. The game on Thursday, I knew every single play they were running just because I was watching film day and night, every every single day. I'm a film guy. Film guy. I like watching film. I like seeing tendencies the receivers do. I like seeing like when the quarterback going to throw the ball, when he's not, when he's going to run it. I like seeing all that. Okay. Tell us, uh, you know, is there a uh, – is there a certain DB at the college or pro level that you pat yourself off of, and who is that DB? Yeah, Nikhil, Roby Coleman, and Tyron Matthew, two of the smallest DBs in the NFL right now. So interesting story. So uh, my oldest son, Aaron, played at University of Texas uh, and then went on and played in Buffalo, actually played with Roby when he was in Buffalo for a few years. And, yeah, he is – he's tiny, but he, he brings a punch, though, big time. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly why I look up to him. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, tell us a little bit about uh, how do you define leadership and how are you leading in your senior year here at Taylor? Uh, leadership to me is being honest up front with your teammates, being able to um, like show that you're a true leader on the team by doing everything the coaches say, don't argue back, just doing everything they say, being coachable, being able to be coachable, just showing and having also good grades because some, some of my teammates be slacking in the classroom, so I just want to show that uh, they need to be working on their grades. Yeah. See, so you're a senior now. Tell us, this is always an interesting question I'd like to ask. What would you tell yourself as a freshman now that you're a senior that you wish you had knew when you were a freshman? What's the one piece of advice, you, if you could do it all over again, that you do? Grades. <laughs> Keeping my grades up. Because freshman year, that, yeah, that messed my recruiting up a little bit. On this feedback, I like it again. Uh, for you freshmen out there that are watching this at Taylor High School, listen to a senior. If you have to do it over again, take those grades serious your freshman year. That, that's good stuff. Uh, you're obviously a, a quick, fast, explosive athlete. What other sports do you play at Taylor? Um, recently, I did track, baseball, and basketball. But next year, I'm more going to uh, be focusing – or this year, I'm going to be focusing on uh, track and baseball. Great. Co college coaches love pl football players that, that compete in track, so that's, that's good to hear. Uh, I, I assume you're a sprinter? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, again, give me some of your best, even I know uh, the pandemic shut down this tra last track season, but give us your PR. What, what were you running? What's your best time in the 100 and the 200? 
my best time in a hundred is a uh, eleven two, and I don't remember my two hundred time pretty much because I'm a hundred guy. I don't really run into hundred. <laughs> okay, all right, eleven two is moving. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, I always this question sounds a little different, but give us an idea about your realistic recruiting goals. Who are you looking at? Who do you want to hear from? And what level do you think you're going to play at? Uh, to me, I think I can play at a Division One level, but um, some of the schools I'm looking at is U of H, uh, Sam Houston, and recently the school I just got offered from from Eastern New Mexico, uh, in New uh, New Mexico. So those are top three schools I'm looking at right now. Okay, good to hear. I think that's very realistic. Um, I also added, I added one more, like a few days ago, uh, Texas Southern. Okay, good stuff. I know the staff there. I know the staff of most of those schools. So that'll be good. I will get this uh, this video out to them so get to know you better. Uh, you know, obviously, you know the NCAA dead period got extended to January, so nobody's going to be on campus for a while. So definitely sharing this video and let them hear who you are on and off the field is going to be important. Hey, as we finish up here, you know, obviously coaches love players that have a strong competitive spirit. Tell these coaches about your competitive spirit when it comes to football. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm very competitive when it comes to football. Like, if I see the biggest dude out there on the field, I, I would say I want him. I don't want the smaller dude on the field. I want the biggest dude who's strong, physical, and can give me some good reps. I want a dude who can give me some good looks. So I, I'm really competitive when it comes to football. It sounds like you're one of those DBs that says, Coach, whoever the best receiver is on the other team, just lock me up. I'll take him away the whole game. Are you one of those guys? You got that mentality? Yeah, I, that's exactly who I am. That's, that's what we're going to be doing a few times this year, too. That's exactly who I am. Okay. Well, you guys have a lot of good receivers in that district, and uh, obviously you go through the playoffs and stuff, so I'm sure you're going to see some good ones. But I look forward to you matching up against some 6'4 receiver uh, and showing off that, that incredible vertical that you have. Yes, sir. Hey, last question. We'll let you get back to your night here. But this is uh, we, we talked about the elevator pitch. In your own words, the next 15 to 30 seconds, tell these coaches why they should recruit you and what you're going to bring to their program. Uh, all right. So some of the reasons I think I should be recruited is I'm a leader on the team. I think I can bring leadership to the teams. And then also my quickness and agility, I can also be a force to be reckoned with in a dime offense because I also play nickelback. So you can use me as to cover smaller slot receivers, faster receivers. And I'm also very competitive when it comes to football. So I think, yeah, I think that's why I should be recruited. I know size, okay. I'm, size do matter to a lot of coaches, but when you look at me, you go ahead and, go ahead and see that size really don't matter. I like it. That's how you speak up for yourself, man. I, I appreciate you advocating for yourself. Cecil, uh, I, uh, I didn't tell you, but I'm a, uh, Real good friends uh, with two of your teammates. Uh, I've, I've known Hayden Connor and Bryce Foster since they were in fourth grade. I actually selected yeah. Bryce to play in the, the All-American game. Tell those knuckleheads to, to, to stay strong. You have a great week of preparation. I'll be down again here pretty soon. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay? Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a great evening. We'll see you soon. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks.